hello everyone continuation to the previous session let's discuss with the previous comments lspv list all the pvs lsvg list the volume groups lsvg hyphen o which is active lsvg hyphen l data vg to list the logical volumes on a particular volume group lsvg hyphen l root vg also we discuss mklv command rmlv command now today how to make a copy of existing logical volumes for example ls vg hyphen l data vg here uh, this one is having a one pv in one pv with a three LPs now making another copy the syntax is mklv copy lv name number of lv copies then pv names okay here mklv copy lv name lv double zero number of copies two now i don't want to specify any so pv name so now sorry this LV another PV is occupied with L piece is 3 PPs are double why because it's a mirrored to list ls LV FNM LV 00 see the PPs are 3 only sorry LPs are 3 only uh, PPs are in PV1 and PV2 it's a mirrored the difference between mklv and uh, mklv copy is while creating an lv we can make the another copy if we forgot or any new requirement is there to create a, a mirrored so mklv is the command now making another copy mklv copy lv name lv double zero now three h disk one and three now edge disk two see here number of lp is three but uh, pps are in different disk is having three maximum is three only how to remove a mirrored lv rm lv copy is a command then lv name h disk 3 so this one means only one exist after removed so you are just i entered one disk but automatically another disk is also removed after removed how many uh, lps are exist so this is the one now we will create a unstructured logical volumes previously we created a structured logical volumes that is the jfs and jfs2 the difference between a structured and unstructured means structured volumes uh, the ax operating system can use uh, data programs anything on jfs and jfs2 for AF, ax operating system will do what about unstructured that will very important for dump space or paging space any applications database anything use the raw logical volumes that is unstructured logical volume 
how to create unstructured logical volumes uh, this is the same as a structured logical volume mklv fny uh, just to type raw lv uh, it this is anything hyphen t raw r a w this is the static we should supply this one only then vg data vg number of lps or pps So here raw LV is created with type of raw. This raw means unstructured logical volume. Now how to reduce a volume group? Let's see here. Reduce VG data VG. Then remove any physical disk as disk three. Now it shows error why because it contain a logical volumes how to see this contain logical volumes which disk 3 so these are the logical volumes the disk 3 contains now I need remove forcefully reduce VG FND is a command data VG which disk 3 S again S again S shit okay LS PV now this disk is removed from this data disk now I need to migrate this edge disk 2 to edge disk 3. Migrate means cut and paste here. Before going to that, now I need to check what is the size of the edge disk 2. Boot info FNS edge disk 2. This is a 5 GB. This is a 10 GB. So I am transferring from 5 GB to 10 GB. What happens if 10 GB to 5 GB the operation will fail. You can continue with 10 GB here 5 GB plus 5 GB. It's possible. Migrate PV. The syntax is Migrate PV, source PV, and dest PV1, dest PV2. Why? Because here it has a more space. It may be, uh, it's not the same size of the source. Here 10 GB, it's a 5, 5, or it's a 7 GB, it's a 3, it's a 4. Or we can add more like this one also. Ten GB, five GB, two GB, three GB. This is also possible. Source is the H disk two. Rest is H disk three. Here, what happens? Uh, this disk is not belong to the data VG group so extend VG now this will continue it may take some time just I will pass and play here it's completed what happens here the H disk 2 is cut and H disk 3 may it's paste so similarly uh, mirrored from H disk 2 to H disk 3 and delete the original one uh, 
ls pv fnl hdisk 2 hdisk 3 it have some disks sorry some lvs now how many volume groups are exist in ax there are three types of volume groups by default normal vg vg type a is normal vg max pvs so how many disks we can add here 32 how many lvs we can create 256 max pps per vg this is 3 2 5 1 2 maximum size pp size is 1 gb next big vg pp pvs are 128 512 lvs 130048 this is the pps per vg here also 1 gb pp size next last one is the scalable this is the 1024 128 GB. This is a two power five, two power seven, two power ten. This is two power eight. 2 power 9 2 power 12 so let's see with example by default normal VG so data VG we created max Elvis max elvis 256 next max pvs here max pvs are 16 why because it's depending on the pp size by default pp size is 32 mb last max pps per vg this is the 32512 here, uh, here we can see in the root vg by default this is the 32 size uh, this is the max pv so 32 right 32 256 3 to now how to create big vg less vg fnp data vg the disk just now we migrated so just removing reduce vg data vg which is 2 lspv now just disk 2 is the empty now mk vg hyphen capital b b means it will create a big vg hyphen s capital s means it will create a scalable vg now mk vg capital b big vg hyphen y big vg hyphen s s means that pp size we can define p pv name h disk 2 ls vg big vg here pp we just now mentioned max elvis big vg max elvis 512 max 
pvs max pvs 1300048 this is the max pvs per vg how to create a file system now first create a logical volume mklv hyphen lv test lv hyphen type jfs2 here big vg 10 is a pp ls vg hyphen l big vg only one lv is there now crfs is the create file system hyphen v means what type of file system it is jfs2 hyphen d slash dev test lv next hyphen m before going to this one mkdir slash test mount crfs hyphen v jfs2 is a file system hyphen d means where the device is exist slash 2 hyphen m slash test mount new file system is created lsvg fn l big vg see here log lv is created this is the jfs2 file systems log file now mount slash test mount dfn test mount is mounted cd slash test mount now i am entering to that file system here only last place found only one directory is there let's assume uh, this is the test lv uh, just now we created with the 10 lps so uh, this is the space we supposed to use anything now i am going to enter in this location so i just need to open one gate here so here mount is the command to open the gate from external to this file system so mount will work to access anything other file system now crfs means creating the file system we will discuss later pwd means present working directory now i am going to touch a b c d e f files ls it will display just i am going to back u mount slash test mount ls cd test mount ls here nothing is displaying why because that space in the logical volume we created entering to the logical volume then create something so we are just unmounting just remove that gate then now it's a c it's a nothing mount slash test mount cd slash test mount ls it will appear okay